teacher, right? Yes, today we are proud to introduce you to Myungwan Kim, a Naindang professional from Korea. He is from Korea, but he moved to America in 2008 and now lives and teaches over there. Today we're going to show you a game that he played in 2005 at the 10th Samsung Cup. It was very strong back then. Right, this is a game against uh, Wang Lai, five time professional. At the moment, um, Kim is a uh, nine dumb professional. Right, and Myung Wan Kim uh, plays white in this game, and Wang Lei plays as black, right? Right. Let's get started. Wang Lei plays the Chinese opening. Uh, nowadays, it is also uh, popular to play this more twisted uh, variation. But uh, this game was from 2005, and the uh, normal Chinese uh, opening was uh, popular in that time. Right, and it's, uh, it's interesting to see that back then, this move was also popular. And this was also played by Myung Wan in the game. Nowadays, it is common sense to play on the lower side play this small kema or the big kema. The reason that the lower side is uh, considered to be more important now is that it's easier for black to uh, expand his framework on the lower side than it is for black to expand on the upper side. That also uh, is because black has a hoshi stone here, a 4-4 point, which means that white can still invade on the top. So it's hard for black to create a big framework over there. So Myung Wan told us that uh, if he would play this game uh, right now, then he would probably play this move. But in the game in 2005, he approached this corner. And uh, a standard Josuke follow. Again, the usual idea now would be to expand the lower side or to approach here and when white answers this, then to take this point. It uh, creates a big framework and uh, all black stones are working well together. Right, but black played something different in the game, right? Black played a slightly unusual move and uh, did split here. Perhaps Black didn't like uh, big Moyo games and decided to keep the territory small. However, this gave uh, White the chance to play on the lower side and White played here now. So this means that White destroys Black's influence and also builds something of his own. Black extended here and White immediately uh, attacked this group by approaching here. And White also builds a framework of uh, himself. Right. And Black immediately invades. It is a good move for White to play the Kosumi now. Oops, that was a Black move. This one. Because White already has a stone here. The normal move for White would now be to jump. But Myung Wan uh, didn't like this. It looks a bit uh, over concentrated. And on top of that, there's still a weak point here. Right. And he wanted to avoid Black uh, playing there, so he played this Kosumi. It's a very practical move. I think, uh, yeah, new one likes uh, these kind of practical moves. Yeah, very solid and simple, but also very powerful. And now Black was forced to uh, make a base on the lower side. White also has to uh, protect his weakness, right here. And again, after Black reinforces his corner, White's uh, group looks weak, so White has to jump out. And uh, this move makes me eye. It makes me eye of uh, this point and this point. So when Black will play here, White will take uh, this point. 
both these points are very good for white, so uh, whatever happens, white will be okay. In the game, black actually to this point to uh, expand the top, and uh, white got the other point. It's very important to play on this point. If white would play Tanuki, for example, like playing here, then black would get this point. And now black is uh, very solid in this area, and white has become unstable. And uh, white needs to run out, right? Right. So this is not uh, very comfortable for white. So the struggle is between who is uh, solid and has a solid base and who has to run. Right. So it's important for white to take this point. So white did not hesitate and played it. Uh, now the black rook looks a bit uh, insecure. And uh, Black could try starting to run away, but uh, Black decided to uh, settle himself immediately. And uh, this was a very good move. Black played the uh, attachment on the second line. This is kind of the theme of this game. This move, the Kema attachment on the second line, will come back a few times in this game. And this move at the moment tries to make something for Black to secure his base and at the same time also attacks white space. Now the most natural move for you might look to block here. Right. But it is a bit easy for black. When black withdraws here, black becomes more secure and there, there are some cutting points in uh, white's position. Black could either uh, cut here afterwards or it could play this uh, peep over here, or even another peep from this side. So there is three weaknesses in this shape. So if white would uh, play Tanuki, uh, the most easy way is to cut, right? Right. This is uh, very simple, and it is actually good enough for black. Um, black captures a stone. But he also gets uh, squeezed. And this result is okay for black, but there is a better one. It is okay for black because black is strong and solid, and white still needs to run. Instead of cutting immediately, black could also try a peep, right? Yes, there's a double peep here. And when white protects uh, one of the cutting points, Black pushes through here and cuts on this side. White has a lot of cutting points and this result is uh, okay for black. It's still fighting. White could, for example, play here. But this cutting point that we saw earlier still works. It's quite interesting eh, that this still works. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, difficult for white to find a good response now. So the fighting is good for black in this situation. Right. So uh, this peep of black is also a nice move, but there's even a better peep. Uh, this peep is the most severe, and it tries to uh, cut white. When uh, white defends on this side, black will cut through. And uh, white ends up with two groups. We can now see that white has two weak groups and black space at the lower side looks much stronger. So this result will definitely be uh, good for black. Also uh, the fighting in the center will look uh, good for black. Right. So uh, white needs to uh, defend. Here white needs uh, to defend against uh, all these nasty variations. And uh, this white move is one way of doing so. However, when uh, black becomes secure here, um, Black is uh, looking forward to this Hanei later. So 
This is kind of a burden for white. White cannot block here. This would be very painful because uh, black wall slides through. And after black connects, there is still a cutting point in white shape. But this would not be good. And white will more or less be forced to uh, play here, right? Yes, it's a bit ugly shape. And uh, black uh, gets great shape. So in the end, probably white will need to add another move. Um, by playing, for example, here. This is a powerful move, but at the same time a bit slow. And black still has sent in. So black is dominating the game. And first he was weak in this area, but now he has become strong in sent in. So this is a bit too easy for black. Uh, to conclude, the block here is a bit soft and uh, is not recommended in this position. So white is more or less uh, forced to fight back by playing this high. And now uh, we will get a fight. Again, it's the, the same principle. If white now plays this move, it's a bit too easy for black. Black can slice through, and white has two choices. White can either defend by simply playing here or by taking the stone. But both will be good for black. Let's first uh, maybe see this one. Uh, instead of uh, fighting hard and uh, pushing like this, Black will play uh, calmly and uh, cut here. And White gets a lot of cutting points. After Black extends into the center, he is uh, free. And also White still has a very big cutting point left in his group. So white did not achieve much and this is also a great result for black. What about after uh, black cuts and gives the Atari, what about taking the stone? This is uh, even worse, because uh, black can give this Atari, and uh, white can of course fight the co, but at the moment there are no co traps for, uh, for white. So when black catches here, there's uh, nothing that uh, black could respond to. Right. So this is an um, overplay for white to start the co. If white will play somewhere else uh, during the co, then black will just simply uh, Make sure that the co is done with, and black gains more in this area than white can gain anywhere else on the board. So this would be uh, good for black. So white cannot play the co, white doesn't have co threats. So uh, what about connecting? Well, this is also uh, very bad. Um, we will get uh, more or less the same result as we just saw. Black will slice through, and he is free in the center. So when white plays the honey and black cuts, white has to fight back. Right, capturing the stone would not be good, so white pushes here. This is a common technique in this situation. When uh, white pushes here, black first gives a time, and uh, it might seem natural now to uh, block here, because it's center after all, but uh, it's not a good idea. White gets a firm grip on black stone, and when black now tries to go through, he will get a lack of liberties in this uh, shape. Black has only one, two liberties. So at this moment, black needs to come back to defend. And this is a bit different from uh, the previous variation, where black had a move here. In that variation, 
leg was able to cut here, which was uh, much more severe. But this cut is not uh, playable anymore. And uh, White has exchanged this. Black will have to defend, and then White will be able to uh, also defend towards the center on this side or on the other side. So blocking here is not good. Black needs to fight back, and black goes through. When white uh, defends, then black could also defend this cutting point. And this would be playable, but Mew Wan didn't play this in the game. Uh, this is playable because there are still two weaknesses in black shape, this and this. So white can look forward to uh, using them. So although black gets very strong in the center, there's uh, still something to aim for, for white. However, New One didn't like this. And if we look at this situation and we see a cutting point here, some RG here and here, then maybe this uh, would also be a nice idea. But in fact, this is also not good. Actually, it becomes worse for black, uh, for white, sorry, because black can simply uh, block. When uh, white now cuts, Uh, we get a variation which is uh, similar to what happened uh, in the game. Uh, black played this Atari. And then black uh, takes the lower side. In the game, white played here. However, in the game, this exchange was not made. And the situation uh, was like this. So we can now see that it would be a strange exchange for white to play like this. You give away your stone and you also destroy the IG. That's why this uh, position is not good for white. So how did the uh, game arrive to this position? Let's uh, go back to see. So black went uh, through and instead of playing a name, white cut immediately. Uh, Black now has no choice but to protect his uh, two stones, to play this Atari. He's protecting in center now. And then takes the two stones at the lower side. White also needs to protect and captures the two black stones in a net. Um, this result uh, might look uh, good for Black because uh, black uh, becomes very uh, solid, you get some points. However, there are still some uh, weak spots in black shape. This will always be sending for white. This is always sending for white as well. White might still want to cut. And especially, this move is nice in any game for white. So when black answers... This might look good, but actually this is uh, not a good move. White uh, gets to play underneath in Sente and takes away some of Black's uh, points. This is Sente because Black is still very weak. If Black would now play Tanuki, then this point would be very painful. White is looking forward to cutting here, and Black only has one eye. So locally, after White plays here, and Black captures these stones, Black only has one eye here. So now Black could not afford to play Tanuki, Black would have to come back. However, black shape is a little bit off, and that is why uh, this move by black is not good. In this case, it's better for black to play here. And usually it's painful to give your opponent this kind of Atari. But now this is actually best for black. So when black uh, plays here... White still connects. And uh, now black has better shape here. Black has uh, two eyes on the bottom, so uh, black is alive. However, white ends in center. Right. It's also uh, very interesting to show you that black has to connect. Black cannot kill white here. This would be an overplay. White connects. And after black takes away white's eye, it is uh, tricky for white. 
you might think, ah, well, I will just play here and come on, I'm taking you black stones. But in fact, this is a mistake, and we will see that black has a beautiful Tsuji. White is uh, yeah, taking away the liberties now. Black also does so. And are you starting to see the, the Tsuji guys? It's an under the stones Tsuji. White now captures black stones. However, black can immediately take back the white stones by uh, playing this Atari. So this is a very beautiful under the stones Tsuji. So when we come to uh, this position, when uh, black has taken away white's eye, white should not take away the liberties by playing here, but white should throw in. When uh, black now captures, there's no under the stones anymore. White simply takes black stones and is safe. So uh, the throw in was uh, crucial for white. Right. Always be careful. There is always magic in these kind of tumego situations. So practice your tumego. So we uh, saw that black cannot capture the white stones. And like we said, it looks like uh, black is better off, but white still has this endgame and some IG. So it is not that bad for white. However, black is a little bit better off, also because black has Sentia. And black could play a Tanuki. In the game, black played there, right? Yes, it uh, looks like a very natural move, I think, to uh, try and attack this uh, uh, white corner. But uh, it was heavily criticized. Yeah. And uh, it uh, was said that uh, black should uh, slide here, perhaps. And uh, now it's difficult for white to uh, find a good move. White tries to protect uh, the corner by playing on Sansan. -san. Then black can pincer, because black is already strong on the left side. So black can attack. When uh, white instead tries to play, uh, for example, here or here. It's, uh, yeah, it's difficult for white to uh, find the right spot here, because uh, uh, this is not perfect. There's still uh, Aki in the corner here. Black can invade, and uh, black can invade here. Right. And when white plays here, there is a very big hole in the center that black can play in. Yes. Either on the fourth line or on the third line. So there is not a good move after black slides into the corner. It is quite powerful for, for black to uh, play this Ogema. Also, instead of this Ogema, which is powerful, black can also invade immediately. Like this, black takes more territory immediately, but white also becomes more solid at the top. White can now play this move and uh, protect his uh, top territory. He is solid and safe now. Afterwards, the center becomes the point of attention. And uh, in this kind of position, black has a nice uh, reducing move here. It, uh, it first of all aims to uh, uh, slash through here. But uh, secondly, it also aims at uh, this combination. So the black stones work uh, very nicely together. Right. That's a nice reducing move by black as well. And it feels like uh, black would be a bit better in the game. But black did not invade and did not slide into the corner either. Black uh, played this pincer, which looks natural, but was a mistake. White uh, plays again the same kind of Kozumi that was played in the lower left, and also, again, this Kozumi. It's uh, very practical, I think. Right. 
And Myung Won told us that he was not sure if his simple approach on the lower left side was the best move, but he liked to play simple. But he said that this move, this Kusumi in the top left, is definitely good for white. Because this uh, also puts pressure on the black group on the left side that is now weak. So black uh, defended and connected to the stones at the top. Now it might look very tempting to play Tanuki as white. But it would be dangerous because black can still invade here. White will be uh, forced to protect uh, this side, otherwise black can play there and connect underneath. And then black has a lot of Haji with this uh, sliding k mod again. There are some nice variations here, you can uh, check them in the SGF file. Yeah. But uh, it's interesting to see that even after such a practical move and a solid move, there's still a lot of Haji in the corner. Right. But uh, Myung Wan kept playing practical and he played a sliding k mod of his own. This Kema aims to protect his corner and also again to attack the black's corner a bit. And uh, here in the game, uh, black played uh, this move and white was able to uh, secure the corner. And this was also criticized, right? Yes, this move, uh, yeah, Myung Wan told us by black was a bit too easy. If Myung Wan uh, would play as black, he said, he would still invade the corner. Kind of crazy, right? It's yeah. Um... <laughs> so looks uh, like it's an overplay, but in fact there is still a lot of Aji. If white would uh, simply play on this side, then it would be easy for black, right? Uh, black has a nice move here. Mm -hmm. When white captures the black stone, there's still a cutting point here. This uh, captures the two uh, limestones. White can't play uh, Atari because uh, black can extend here. So this cut is uh, very severe. So let's appreciate this strange looking move by black. And this one, black plays here at this point to uh, yeah, aim at this cutting point or to play Hane and make life. Also, when uh, white protects the cutting point, then uh, black can take a big corner. Like this, black can connect underneath. This is a bit too big for black, right? Yes. So, uh, when white uh, takes the left side, black will take the corner. What about if uh, white defends the corner instead of playing here? By uh, maybe playing here? Yes. And uh, now, instead of blocking from this side, playing this Hane becomes powerful. And white is forced to cut. First, white again uh, gives this Atari in good timing and then locks. And now, it looks like white can go through. But this is a bit dangerous. Because uh, there's still some cutting of IG here. Uh, black is able to cut here. But I will just simply take your stone. But uh, black will get a big corner. Like this. So this is also a bit painful for white. Yeah, so the three three invasion now was uh, good timing. Still a good move, yes. But uh, black played uh, here. He played soft, <laughs> and white got to uh, defend. And after this, there is uh, yeah, black has to come back to the top, and there are still a lot of Aji in uh, black's shape, like we also saw in the lower side. This kind of uh, peep is uh, still painful. So black defends, 
and uh, white has synthane. White is more or less strong everywhere on the board. White has a pink group in the upper left. Uh, this group in the lower left is also strong. This group is secure. And the top group is a little bit under pressure. We will see that later because black got uh, this move. But it is also safe for now. So white can look forward to attacking. And white attacked the lower right for black. Right. Um, this is a common invasion, and uh, black can answer in uh, different ways. Uh, first of all, playing here uh, looks like a good move because it uh, protects the corner. So, uh, uh, yeah, black uh, should maybe be happy to uh, secure it. It looks like black is already quite strong here as well, right? So, if he makes sure that he is strong in the corner, then white gets a weak stone, it looks like. But Jungwan told us that uh, this is soft. It's quite surprising. Uh, white plays this game up. And uh, white has a nice way of settling it as well. White will play the cross cut to Soji. And, uh, well, of course, there are many difficult variations now. But uh, it's a very good Sabaki uh, strategy. And uh, whatever happens, uh, white can manage uh, his group. Right. So black should not defend this corner. It's too soft. Also, uh, black can consider to uh, try and capture the stone. This is a typical move to uh, put as much pressure as possible on white. However, white can uh, make life in the corner. White will play on this vital point. And afterwards, white goes up here. Again, uh, sliding came on the second line to make a base. White makes some eye shape in center. And he can now come back to make life. This group is already alive. Black still has to come back to fix his cutting point, and white can make uh, two eyes. So, also uh, putting as much pressure as you can on the white group at this moment is not optimal, because white cannot be killed. So black decided to play something uh, else completely. Oh, one uh, last option for black. But, uh, well, we saw this in episode number 100. Right. If uh, black would like to get influence on the left side, then perhaps this schema is good. And when black tries to surround white, then uh, do you remember the Sabaki technique? Looks like white is under a lot of pressure, right? But white can play this uh, the suji. So we saw this in episode number 100. So instead, in the game, black jumped here. And this move uh, yeah, kind of says that white can live in the corner as long as black gets the right side. So black is building something of his own, and white still uh, has to make life. White now uh, jumped here. Right. And, uh, uh, white created a small group in the corner by descending. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and uh, black needs to fix uh, the cutting point. And well, so far we've seen that black did uh, one dubious move or actually two, black played here in the corner, and also... Uh, this was a bit soft. Right? Yeah. Uh, however, he also played a very strong move on the lower side. This sliding came up was very sharp. But now white will also make a small mistake. White played uh, on the second line here, which is very calm again. And uh, the idea of white is clear. This uh, descent here is center. So uh, white is threatening to uh, connect underneath like this. Right. However, uh, we can see that uh, a little bit later, Blank got this move in center, and he was able to kill white's group. So Newman told us that he regretted this. In the game, he should actually have played this Hane on the second line. And this would make uh, life in the corner. 
also note that black uh, after this Hane white plays on the first line. A good shape to remember. And now white is uh, locally aligned. It doesn't have to connect underneath anymore. So let's see how black uh, killed this corner in the beginning. White played on the second line. And uh, this move uh, King didn't uh, expect. Right. Um, this peep. Yeah, you, you have this saying, always connect to a peep, right? Yes. What happens when uh, white connects? Um, maybe uh, black will yes. try to kill white. When um, when uh, white connects underneath, right? mm -hmm. uh, black will take the center, and uh, the center is uh, quite big now. This uh, was a very use, uh, useful peep, and uh, black builds the center. Black has very good shape, so black feels comfortable. It's a bit too easy for black. Now. So white could not do what the saying had told him. White did not react to uh, this peep by blocking. When black peeped here, white resisted. White uh, went up here. And uh, this is of course a very powerful move. And it's even more powerful because there's some calculation behind it. Right. Black is not able to uh, play here because there's a loose net. A very beautiful net. When black tries to move out. White first plays here to give black the idea that he can escape. But then white is being sadistic. Yes, he can give this Atari, it's a sacrificing technique. And now play this uh, beautiful jump over here. Black is captured now. How about uh, moving out here and cutting the white stones? Well, when uh, white blocks, black has only two liberties. And white has three. So black is dead. So black found another tactic. Right. Instead of uh, connecting here, which is not possible, Black first played this beautiful Hane on the second line. And it is difficult for White to find a good response now. White uh, would very much like to block here. However, now Black can move out like this. If White tries to again play the net, it doesn't work anymore. After this jump, when black goes through, white only has one, two liberties, and black has three. Black can uh, yeah, start taking away white's liberties, and white is dead. This is all because of the exchange of this Hane for white's move here. White got one less liberty. So when black plays this move, uh, white is unable to block here, and instead played here in the game. However, this allowed black to kill the white corner right. with this honey. White now played uh, this move, which forces black to connect. And he plays this exchange at this moment, because he would really like to go through on the second line. In the center here. Right. However, if uh, white would play this uh, immediately, then this Hane is no longer centered for white. So it was good timing to uh, play it at this moment. Right. That's why white plays it uh, immediately. And afterwards goes through. And only then 
place this uh, honey on the first line. With this exchange, White is also looking forward to play this move, which attacks Black's base a little bit. When uh, Black blocks here, later White is looking forward to uh, um, play here and to uh, try to make something in the center. Right. If uh, White will connect here later, it's more or less sente, because if White gets to play on this point, then uh, black is hurt. Black needs to uh, make two eyes for his group, and uh, white is looking forward to uh, moves like this to uh, try and make something in the center. And also looking forward to still cut these two black stones off. But um, white was a bit afraid that uh, this might not be center right now. So uh, White switched and uh, played this very nice move. Yeah, it's a, it's a peep, locally, and a very powerful peep, because White uh, looks forward to going through here. Black does not defend, then suddenly his uh, dead corner comes alive. So Black needed to uh, protect against this, and played here. And then White uh, connected these stones. And at this moment, uh, White feels a bit better, right, in the game? Yes, even though uh, White played a slow move right here, or a bit uh, dubious move, mm -hmm. Black got uh, thickness, and also still because of the bad moves that uh, Black played in the upper left uh, corner, uh, White was still slightly ahead. Right. So Black had to uh, try something, and uh, Black came up uh, with this move. It's a very severe move, and it is aiming, we will see that very soon, to make thickness in this uh, part of the board. And uh, especially in this uh, uh, situation, in this, in this board position, Black would like to get thickness here to create um, some territory in the center. White blocks, and Black prepared a move, this one. Yes, this is uh, when uh, white simply blocks here, then uh, it might look like uh, black has a good move here. And uh, this is also what happened in the game. So white might think that uh, it's perhaps better to play here to uh, prevent uh, this move of black. Yes. But uh, this is actually uh, worse for white because uh, white will get squeezed. First black plays this Atari in uh, good timing. White takes the two black stones, but black can uh, yeah, go through here, which is a very annoying move. White would very much like to connect these stones, but black can uh, throw in. And it is not sure if white can even live, so uh, it is a very painful result. So white cannot afford to play here, but he has to block after all. And uh, now black plays the nice move, the clan here. And uh, it's difficult for white to respond here. Yeah? Maybe this looks good because you make a mi of capturing the black stones or connecting underneath. However, black plays an empty triangle. It's uh, one of those that we collect and put in the empty triangle jar. The empty cookie jar. And uh, well, white is separated, so this is a bad result for white. White could also go out here, but uh, it is more or less the same principle. Again, black plays the empty triangle. I will remember these for the rest of my life. So, white should find a different hole. White cannot connect, white cannot extend. White should play Hanani. 
it is a surprising move that when you see it, I think feels very natural. Mm. Yes, right has a lot of cutting points and uh, like also exploits them. But um, White manages to uh, connect his uh, stones. White connects like this. And it is uh, locally an okay result, but we can see that black got a lot of free thickness in the center. And uh, in center, so uh, black is now able to uh, play like this and to uh, make some points in the center. This would also have been the correct move. However, black uh, one lay played here in the game, and this move was heavily criticized by new one. It uh, was a bit of a slow move, it didn't do much, and it gave a uh, white right opportunity to, uh, to erase the center. This is now the most important area on the board. Both players would really like to play in the center. If white plays here, white destroys black's influence, and at the same time, white is also looking forward to making something of his own. And uh, with this move, uh, White took the lead. It uh, looks very natural to uh, extend here. It would give White the opportunity to play this move, which uh, uh, makes some points in the center for White. Yes. White has quite a lot of territory, so black cannot afford to give white this territory. Black will erase it by playing there himself. Now white uh, has some aji in this area because black didn't come back after white played the hane. And white, uh, very nice timing move again. After um, white uh, just played a small move here. Right. And afterwards. Uh, White was looking forward to the third attachment of our game. And it is funny to see that all the three attachments were really great moves. Yep. Uh, so this attachment was great. And uh, yeah, what was it? This one, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this attachment, this or this? In the beginning. And this one is very nice uh, timing. It's also a great move. First of all, if White would not play in this area, Black could still look forward to uh, connecting underneath, for example, with such a move. There's still a bit of a achi left there. If white cuts, then black could uh, connect underneath here and make some territory. So when white plays here, white uh, takes away that opportunity. And this move is very nice because it's sending, right? But uh, how about capturing this stuff? Cut. Or give Atari. Now I will give Atari from this side. And we can see that uh, White will capture these black stones. So White goes through. Black's territory is destroyed. This is uh, not possible for Black. And that is why black has to instead respond from this side. However, this uh, gives the opportunity for white to connect. And now this has become uh, white's uh, territory a little bit. So moves like this are less severe now. And uh, black had to defend. Right. So white was very happy to uh, destroy some uh, territory of black in the center. And at this moment white came back to the lower left side. This is a very big move for the corner. And like we showed, it also threatens black quite a lot with this move. It's, uh, black needs to answer here, which is very painful. So black cannot allow it, and black came back there. Now we can also see that this exchange for white was really useful. Otherwise, black will no longer have to uh, come back there. Come back. Right. This was sent in for white. And uh, now 
white plate in the corner, I think. Yes, it is uh, a very good endgame to Suki. And um, yeah, white destroyed the black corner. Black is uh, not able to separate the uh, white because there's still a cutting point. So black needed to uh, come back. Also, um, the side is still open here, but uh, black does not have time to uh, defend here because um, well, he come to uh, if black plays here. Then white will get this Atari. And after white connects, then uh, we can see that this move of black was uh, very dubious. It is not really doing much at the moment. And yeah, white really destroys black's influence. This is the most important part of the board at the moment again. Black would like to do something. And uh, black tried this uh, double on eh? However, at this moment uh, in the game, Black was already behind and he was uh, desperate. He tried to make a cover by now uh, cutting. So extending here would not uh, be enough for Black when um, White protects the cut. Um, Black does not have enough territory. So instead, Black uh, made a crazy code here. Always be careful when you give this kind of Atari. It is not sure that your uh, opponent will always respond by extending. Of course, there is always this kind of argument. So keep that in mind. White takes the stone, and now Black uh, can make this call. I thought it uh, was very interesting that uh, White now does not play here but uh, plays from the other side. It uh, makes the code a bit lighter. For right. This uh, would be very heavy, and this um, is a bit lighter. When white loses the code, this stone has more meaning than this stone. Right. This stone might help white to go through here, maybe. Right. So we now got the code fight. This call fight, however, is better for white because uh, the burden for black is bigger. Also, white has a lot of code threats. Uh, for example, here and uh, well, elsewhere in the score. Right. This was also played in the game. And then white took the call again. Black played in the corner as a code threat. Black responded. Now white played here, also a very big threat. He did not take the stone immediately, because there is another threat. First white takes back. Black had a good coach right here. And only now does white come back to capture the black stone. And uh, at this moment, Black didn't have any good coaches uh, left. So um, Black did fall back here. And uh, this already uh, shows that the uh, co fight was not that good for Black. Black is very uh, yeah, happy to just play here. White cuts first now, and then extends. Now we can see even more that this co is a burden for black. If black wins the co, he only gets this territory. But when he loses it, then all his territory here is gone, and white also gets uh, three stones in the center. Now white uh, played another co threat. Uh, white cut on uh, this side of the board. And uh, because black has no co threats, Black has uh, no choice but to end the code. But he did so in a nice way. Yes, he found a brilliant one. Very uh, nice to suit you. So this is a bit better than just uh, connecting the code. 
but it gave white the uh, chance to play on the left side, and black stones on the left side are very hurt. In the end, uh, white won this game with uh, three and a half points, and uh, he progressed in the Samsung Cup, which was a great success. Yeah, Myung Won actually reached the quarterfinals of the Samsung Cup in uh, 2005. This was the first lesson of many to follow by Myung Won Kim, and we hope that you are as excited about this as we are. We will see you next time. See you then.